Good Shabbos, everybody. Welcome to all our guests who are with us for Shabbos. I apologize for being dressed down. Uh, usually I make these announcements at night. I was talking to the rabbi last night for a while. I hung up, I fell asleep. So I'm off to work. Anyway, uh, please pardon my appearance. Um, candle lighting tonight is at 8.07. The Arab is up all around in Highland Park, Edison, and New Brunswick. Uh, Mincha, Kabbalat, Shabbat, Mariv at 7 o'clock for the early birds at 8.15 for the later than early birds. Uh, I'll also go over the schedule here at the shul in a few moments. Uh, mazel Tov to Jim and Karen Friedman on the birth of a grandson. Mazel Tov to the parents, Rabbi Aaron and Shifra Srolovitz. Mazel Tov! Jim and Karen, if you get a chance, some nice blue balloons outside your house would be nice. I pass by every morning, like to see those balloons. Great simcha. Mazel tov to Justine Matt on her 95th birthday. Mazel tov! You should have many, many more years of good health and happiness, Justine. That's a wonderful milestone. Mazel tov to Debbie and Milton Erdfob on celebrating the 40th anniversary of their wedding in Highland Park. I think they had a wedding in uh, Detroit and a wedding in California also, but the one in uh, Highland Park is what they're celebrating. So mazel tov to you guys. And Milti throw out a kitsch. Abdallah Biyachad will be tomorrow evening uh, about 9.25. Everybody is invited. There's a lot of stuff here in the uh, newsletter. A lot of it's the same stuff. We have the uh, TCN Shiguri. We have the Daily Inspiration from the Rabbi. We have COVID uh, Plasma Initiative. There's the uh, EPI Initiative. They're still accepting monies. Um... RPRY is having their virtual gala with comedian Ashley Bake Blaker. That's all here in the newsletter. Uh, anything else we got going on? Highland Park Edison Community Delivery Service. That's actually a very nice service. If you want to find out more about it, it is in the newsletter. Um, I would like to thank Yussi Benedict, our ritual vice president. Yussi has been really instrumental, working very hard and very dedicated to getting the Minyanim organized and making sure everything runs beautifully outside. Uh, this week was very successful. I'm happy to say we're all davening outside. Uh, you all know about the Minyanim. You can register for the Minyanim. They are online. Um, I have attended some of them. Uh, the rabbi has been to many of them, and uh, everything so far has been terrific. The weather's been holding out, so that's been all good stuff. Um, I'd like to also thank the rabbi for all of his uh, hard work. As you all know, he has been very dedicated during this time, and he's been working um, tirelessly and putting in an awful lot of energy and effort. Uh, I'd like to thank both the rabbi and Kibi for their work on Shavuos. Shavuos is really terrific. The rabbi and Kibi put together a very fun and exciting scavenger hunt um, that was very well participated, that, that very partic well participated in. Cameraman, did I say that right? No, 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 okay. Um, also, thank you to uh, the rabbi and Kibi and to Rob Harberger. They went around with the ice cream truck. That was really a lot of fun. It was also well received. So thank you for that. Um, and also for the packets that the rabbi and um, Kibi gave out to us. Maybe it was the rabbi who did that. Uh, that was Rabbi Lesher who put that together. Um, he is our rabbinic intern. Um, he will be finishing up his work shortly. So thank you to Rabbi Lesher. It's been a pleasure having you. We look forward to seeing you in the future. And good luck to you in all of your future endeavors. Okay. This Shabbos, we are going to be having Minyanim. And all of you know about the Minyanim by now. Uh, you can sign up for the Minyanim. Many of you have. Uh, unfortunately, we're limited for space, for men, for women. Uh, just remember, for this Shabbos, you have to wear your mask. Uh, it is going to be hot and humid tomorrow morning. We are going to be outside. When the sun comes up, it will be facing into the parking lot. So just take that into consideration. If you want, you can bring your own chair. Chairs will, but will not be supplied. You will not have access to the building. So go to the bathroom before you come. Um, bring water if you need water, uh, dressed in cool clothing and comfortable clothing. The minyanim will be about one hour and a half. Um, thank you to the Gabayim who are going to be handling everything. Uh, we're going to limit the 
singing, we're going to limit uh, some of the davening, uh, according to what the rabbi has told us is halakhically appropriate. Um, if there is a concern, please go to the gabayim and speak to them. If somebody sings, don't get bent out of shape, okay? It may be a mistake. Again, this is a work in progress. Um, we're all volunteers. We're not professionals at this. And uh, I, I, I received some complaints this week. Everybody stay calm. We're doing the best we can, and we will try to make the adjustments as we go along. So thank you. Okay, so for this evening, let me just run through quickly. The 640 uh, Mincha Kabbalat Shabbat, uh, all slots are filled, so that's sold out. Then there's a 730, uh, all slots are filled, so that's sold out. Uh, at 815, there are, I believe, nine slots as of this morning that are still available. Shachri tomorrow morning, what, what some people call the Hashkama Minion, will begin at 7 a.m. and run till 8.15, that is an hour and 15 minutes. Um, there is a, a, an 8.30 sign up Minion that goes through 9.45. There are three slots still available for the men, the women are all filled up. At 10 a.m. for the late sleepers, there is a Minion that will go through 11.15. I see that Steve Salad is on that minion. Steve, what's going on? You're usually ready for Mincha at 10 a.m., so I'm a little surprised, but good for you. You're gonna sleep late. Uh, then there's going to be a Mincha at 6 p.m. Uh, there's two slots available for the men. There's two slots still available for the women. At 7 p.m., there is going to be another Mincha uh, that is filled, uh, and there's one slot available for the women. Uh, at 8 p.m. there will be another Mincha, early Mariv. Uh, that is all filled already. The women is also filled on that one. Mariv at 9.10. Uh, there are two slots still available, and that will run till 9.20. We had a phone call in the middle of my video, so I'm sorry if there's a little uh, technical glitch. Anyway, uh, just to let everybody know, there will be an armed security guard at the Minion uh, tomorrow morning, at all the Minions, from seven o'clock in the morning till uh, 11 15. Uh, the teens will be having a minion at uh, the rabbi's house. I believe that minion is at 10 o'clock. I'm not 100% sure. I'm getting a nod from one of the teens. Yes, it is at 10 o'clock in the morning. Kivi will be running that. Um, there will not be kiddush tomorrow because everybody is not allowed to congregate at the shul. So I'm sorry about that. Um, and then I told you what the Mincha is, what the Marav is, what the Havdalah is. I wish each and every one of you a very safe, peaceful Shabbos. As, as concerning the weather, if there is a concern going into Shabbos, an email will be sent out by the shul letting people know whether uh, the services will continue tomorrow morning or not. Uh, we will not daven if there's rain. And uh, again, if anybody needs anything, if anybody uh, is uh, needing some uh, shopping, uh, anything else, please let me know, let the rabbi know. Good job.